ever wanted to control two, maybe three, even four computers with one single PC? Well, I'm Sam Teasian, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. So I've got a Vista machine running right here. Over to the right, I have a Linux machine, or Unix. And to the left is an XP machine. Now, one thing you might find, these two are laptops. All you see here is a display. Well, where is the computer itself? Not under here. I'll show you. Okay, so how do I do that? It's actually pretty easy, but it can get a little complicated. First thing, the Unix machine and the Vista machine are connected by a program called Synergy. And I'd like to thank CNET.com as they made the video first on how to install and use Synergy through two different OS's. Okay. Okay, so this is my Vista machine right here. And if you watch, as I bring the mount, the cursor, over to this side, it enters the Unix machine. Now, I can do all different kinds of stuff on the Unix machine using the keyboard from the Vista machine and the same mouse from the Vista machine. Yet, when I go over to the other side, it goes over into this side. Now, as for the left side, when I pass through the left side, it goes in to the XP machine. I'll show you how this works. Okay, first we're going to start with Synergy. You can download Synergy by just going into Google, search Synergy. Their website is the first result, and you can download it for a Unix machine. And just download that and install the RPM. After you install it, go into the terminal and type in Synergy C space dash F space. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. I like to use the IP addresses for the names for the host computer and then it gets a little bit more tricky to find the name for the Linux machine. So before we type in the IP address for the Vista machine we're going to go over and look at the installation and setup on the Vista machine. Okay. So, go into, after you install Synergy on Vista or even XP, click on Synergy and configure your setup. Okay. So, now, in this case, the Unix machine its name is Linux. I can't change that. And to find it out, try and use, you can easily find out the IP address for the Unix machine. Try and figure that out. Then, if you type in the IP address instead of its real name, in this case it's 192.168.1.104 and you use that instead of its real name, you can start it then go over into the Unix machine and type in the IP address for your Vista machine. In this case it's 192.168.1.109 then press enter. It will go through some stuff and then here's where you figure out the name for your Unix machine. As I said, you can't change it. Right here it says server refuse client with name Linux. In the quotes, Linux. That means that the name for the Unix machine is Linux. So now we know that name. And it's complaining that it says Linux isn't on the map. And it isn't. We used Linux, the Unix machine's IP address, not its real name. So open Synergy again and configure it and change the IP address to whatever it said. In this case, Linux, because it kept complaining that it refused the name Linux. 
whatever it's in quote there it might say Unix or it might say uh, your name PC or family PC whatever it's called that'll come up put that in there on the map and make sure you have you know this is Linux and it says Linux is right of 192.168.1.109 which is this computer that's true and then this is left of Linux okay then start go back into the Unix machine now close the terminal start the terminal again then type in synergy C space dash F space 192 or whatever your IP address is for the Vista machine then hit enter okay and then it should say it's connected and then you're good to go and you can pass back and forth between a Vista machine or XP with a Unix machine All right. now that you have the connection between your two laptops you want to keep, you can stay like this or you can keep on going and connect a third PC now this computer is running off of Windows XP so when I get this done I'll have three different OS's connected with one I like to use a program called Rayman and what it's called Rayman Viewer you can get it from cnetsdownload.com just go to www.download.com search Rayman Viewer download that install it on your computer that's in a different room such as this one and then run the installer get it all set up then go into the Vista machine and install the Rayman Viewer on this machine. Now one thing I got a little confused on when I started installing it was the server and the client. The server is the computer you want to connect to. The client is the computer that will control it. So make sure you don't get messed up on that. Now here's where it gets a little weird. If I didn't have this other display here, okay now see if I unplug this then this computer would now be in control of it. Because I have another display connected, I can take this whole window, drag it into the other display. So you kind of have to have an extra display on hand. In this case, I did. So Then, once you plug that in and configure the extra display, you can start the program here, Raymond Viewer, then drag the program over here, then put it in full screen stretched view. Now you're controlling the other computer from a different part of the house. You can basically do anything. The graphics gets a little weird, like this is not normally blue, and because the graphics card on your main PC, your host, or not your host, but the computer that's controlling everything, the graphics card can only take so much. So just watch out for that. And you do have this little bar right here. Just kind of stick it to the side, or if you feel comfortable with it up there, that's fine. So now you've connected three different computers with completely different operating systems. Another thing you can do, if you don't have another computer in another room, maybe it's just in the same room as your two other laptops and it's down there or someplace, then you can install Synergy on that one PC and then just go through the setup, but make sure you say like this computer is left of this computer and then this will control everything. You don't have to change any settings to do that in the Linux. You just have to install it on your on all computers and then you'll completely be connected. Hope this helps you out. I'm Sam Teachin and I hope you enjoy controlling three computers with one.